which I love planning and how much it has helped me when it comes to planning out content. And so I wanted to show you guys how exactly you can do the same thing and some of the benefits of using plan. Y'all ready? Let's go. So one of the things that I love about plan is that you can literally come in here and schedule out your content. And the way that you do that is just simply going to create and adding your content by hitting this plus button. The great thing about it is that you can also enter in your captions here, use your emojis, hashtags, all of those great things, right? And then if you wanna save it as a draft, you can do that. If you wanna um, send it like right now at that moment, mindful, quick tip you guys, make sure you've downloaded the app. Yes, I'm doing this from my desktop just because it's easier for me to do this on my computer, and plan out content. However, if you want to do it from your phone, you can. But if you are planning content from your desktop, laptop, or whatever, make sure that you have synced the app as well so you'll receive the notifications, okay? Um, you can set a custom time. And check this out. When you click on custom time, all you have to do is change, um, click in here to change the date or even the time right there. But even more so, when you click on the best times to post based on your um, analytics, it tells you exactly when your best times to post start, right? So it's telling me that the next time, the next best time for me to post is Saturday, February the 6th at 5 p.m. Okay, that's, I guess, a high peak performance time. So if anything, I should schedule a post for that time. Not that that should be my next post, but that's definitely an optimal time for me to post something. Then also, which is what I love, is um, your when your audience is most online, right? And so I may not be up on Monday at 6 a.m. I should be, but I may not be. And so um, I can go in here and create a post based on this date. And you see it's based on your last 30 days, right? So based on my last 30 days, my analytics have predicted that Monday at 6 a.m. is when my audience is most online. So I should be posting something right then at that time, okay? Now you may have noticed this little section up here where it says, choose a strategy, right? And I'm gonna show you exactly what this is next. If you get over here, go over here to strategy, right? You'll see that I have a strategy already laid out from what I've done in the, in the past, right? I've added different things. Oh, let's get rid of that. Different things here, but I want to go a different direction in the month of February. I want to test out some new strategies, okay? So I'm going to create a strategy with you so you guys can see how easy it is. So let's go up here and let's clear it all out. Let's clear out the strategy. So we're starting from scratch, right? So I've thought about what type of things I want to post. So I'm just simply going to go down here and click on add custom. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the first things that I want to do is um, put in here relatable quotes, okay? I like using quotes and things like that. I like that they just pulled out some colors for me and they know purple is my favorite color. Um, but I recently purchased the, um, it's the caption for me from Ming Lee and her captions are priceless, okay? And so I'm definitely gonna be using some of those and quoting her. If you guys are using other people's quotes, please give them the credit, okay? So I'm gonna put that in there as one of my first strategies. I'm gonna add a new one. And the next one is learning tutorials. Guess what? That's what this is. And so I'm gonna do a lot more learning tutorials. I do have a Facebook group that you guys can join that you will get more tutorials, more in-depth tutorials other than this one right here. So I'm gonna add that. Then I wanna showcase client work. 
then I'm going to add fun facts. Fun facts on my page tend to um, get a lot of engagement. So I'm going to make sure that I continue with those customer reviews. If you guys are not capturing reviews, you need to be, okay? Whether that is in text form, but it really should be videos. One of the things that I am incorporating in my business that I got from the amazing Felicia Kelly is doing live case studies, right? And so <clears throat> starting next week, I'm gonna be doing live case studies with my clients. So we're gonna hop on Facebook Live, Instagram Live, and we're gonna do a case study right on the live. And I'm gonna make sure that this is part of my strategy. Next, I wanna talk about my process, right? So there are a lot of things that I do in my business that I've developed a process for. And so I wanna make sure that I'm showing, you know, people, you know, the process in which I do that, right? So quick tips, you know, the top five things I do, things like that, making sure that you're quantifying things for your audience. Next, I want to do some about me, right? So not necessarily every single time it's going to be about me per se, but about me meaning that I'm giving people a peek inside my world, inside my life. So these about me's could be about me, it could be about my spouse, it could be about my children, it could be about a family trip, vacation, whatever, anything that's personable. Okay? And then I want to start polling my audience. There are some things that I have coming up that I really want to do, some ideas. And before I just throw it out there and say, hey, I want to do this, um, I want to make sure that I poll you guys and make sure it's something that you even want, okay? So I'm going to start polling you guys a little bit more. And then um, product reviews, right? So I talk about a lot of the different things that I purchase, that I buy. And so I'm going to start dedicating some posts to it um, here as part of my strategy because the goal for 2021 is to do more work with brands, okay? Um, so that's going to be my strategy for the upcoming month, okay? And so right here, if you take a look where it says content prompts, this is something new. So you guys are looking at it brand new, uh-oh, just like me. Um, this is something new that they have incorporated. And so if you're struggling with, you know, what you should post and you're like, I have no idea, here are some prompts for you. So they have a section for Valentine's Day, which is going to be really, really good to do because that's coming up. Um, seasonal holiday, this is good when it comes to fourth quarter, right? Um, host a giveaway. If you are preparing for a giveaway, here's a good strategy for that. Um, launching a sale. Okay, I love y'all. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, launching a sale. You guys struggle with this a lot. I, I often get this question, like, what do I post? I don't know what to do. I don't know how to post. And so I have a strategy for my clients, but I love the fact that this right here is already predicted for you and you can use the strategy. Now be mindful, as you can see, you can have more than one strategy on here and you just pick from it, okay? So, and then launch a sale, extended offer, art, illustrator. So like there are so many different strategies that you can choose from and pick from so you don't have to try to figure it out. They even have church on here, y'all. That's dope. Fashion, content creator. So there's no excuse as to what or why um, you don't have a strategy, okay? So play around with that. Um, and then it also has different goals that you can focus on. So that way you kind of stay um, in your lane of what you need to do, right? So you're not all over the place with things. So in another tutorial, I'll go through some more features about Plan That that I absolutely love, but I really wanted to touch on making sure that you guys have a strategy in place, okay? So let's add this to the grid. 
And if you see, you just hit the plus button. That's how it goes over there. I was gonna forget to do that part, but make sure that you add it to the grid. Add it, add it, add it. Okay. So as you can see, all of the different things that I wanna talk about are on the grid, okay? So I hope that this was helpful. If it was helpful, let me know. Make sure that you are subscribed. Let me know down in the comments what you enjoyed most about it. Also, let me know what you want to see more of, right? What tips, what tutorials, what reviews you, you wanna see more of um, in 2021? And I will see you next time. Thank <sighs> you.